Hello guys, in this second video, I'm going to talk about how to render a HTML page, the child component, as a mouse over tip. This is much better than the meta tool tip, which renders only text. Uh, I use Markdown, you can use anything. A child component does not have to render a Markdown page. The reason I use Markdown is that for this kind of static data, using Markdown saves a lot of time. It's so easy to use. So it's fairly easy. Um, you first need to import uh, install two modules, the overlay module and portal module, both from the CDK, the component development kit. Once you install, you install these two modules, it's fairly easy. You create a, a module uh, that uh, import these two guys, the overlay and uh, portal, and with a bunch of other stuff. Feel free to check out the source code. It's not difficult, yeah. Uh, these are the stuff for configuration. Then you, in your template, you create a named section. Here I use the name Markdown. The Markdown is just the keyword Markdown. You identify this guy because you want to decide where uh, to show the mouse over tip. You mouse over this Markdown word, it shows the Markdown file. Uh, so that's why uh, I create a name tag, the pond Markdown. In your component, obviously, you can consume this named section of your template. So here I use view child markdown is equal to this markdown guy. So this markdown refers to the name markdown in your template. And the second markdown is the name I gave it to this section in my component. I called it markdown. So the word confusion. Yeah, obviously don't have to call it markdown. Yeah. So once I identified this section in my component, I would do a bunch of stuff. I declared two placeholders. Then I put this overlay in my constructor. Then I create a function. This function is executed whenever I mouse over that uh, markdown keyword. So why there's a markdown thing showing when I mouse over? A function got invoked. The reason I use a function is that uh, we may have a lot of mouse over tips on this page, and the user using the software may never need to look at any single mouse over tip. So why waste your CPU cycles? So put it into a function. If the user never mouses over the markdown keyword, these functions are never executed to save CPU cycles. Yeah. So the function is called display. Whenever the person mouses over, the mouse enters this markdown keyword. Uh, what happens is that uh, these code will be executed. First, I create some configuration. Um, so if there's enough real estate, I display this uh, pop up panel on the upper left corner. Otherwise, upper uh, lower left corner. If still I can't find any real estate, I will force Angular to choose some area to display it. So with the push equals true means that uh, Angular will try to find a real estate to display your uh, documentation, mouse server documentation. Uh, then component portal equals new component portal tooltip component. You imported the child component called a tooltip component, which has renders that markdown file. So that thing, this this guy, this little panel popping up panel is a child component. And the child component renders a markdown file, which you do not have to. You can just use the component straight here. But a markdown, as I mentioned, is very efficient to write in. You can also add some styles to your child component. Here I have some padding and background color is beige. So you can see a mouse over, uh, background color is beige, and there's some padding, there's curved kind of border radius and so on and so forth. You can add whatever style you want. Opacity is one. I can obviously change it to something else, like uh, uh, like 0.5. Uh, this will have a half translucent markdown, which is not very good because the two layers of text interfere with each other. So I think a solid color is probably best. Now, once you have done the opacities, uh, you will need to do something else. Uh, you will need to render this guy in your parent component. The parent component imports it, and then it creates a portal of this child component. Once you have the component portal, you will use the overlay create uh, uh, to create some uh, overlay. This is important. Backdrop is false, has backdrop is false. If it has true, both the front and the back end will render. And uh, when you mouse over, it will blink all the time because both the front end and back end, the front layer and back end layer keeps getting triggered. So make sure you use this, uh, yeah, back has backdrop because false. 
um, this position strategy is whatever you just defined here. Uh, and then overlay ref attach. Attach the portal to your overlay. Then the markdown will be rendered. Whenever you mouse over, this function gets executed. You have some markdown file rendered. Uh, but whenever your mouse is away, you will just uh, call the detach function, overlay ref detach function, to remove that mouse over tip. Fairly simple. Okay, uh, obviously you still need to create your Markdown file. Here in the tooltip, the child component, you need to create the Markdown file, which is under this uh, asset directory called a tooltip one. This is the stuff I just rendered. Uh, if you look at a preview, you'll be able to see that's the case. So that's pretty much it. So let me recap. Install the portal package and the overlay package. Uh, create a child component. Import a child component. And then do some configuration. And then you can just render it. Okay, that's my video for today. Feel free to check out my source code on GitHub. Thank you.